Hey, what is going on, Madden family? With level series increase coming, we get to level 80, you get a 94 to 95 overall power up pass. Now, this is a very interesting pass, in my opinion, because there's going to be a lot of cards coming out uh, which follow along the pass, right? Uh, a lot of these team, team builder cards. So, you may want to use it on one of those guys. That's sort of the pre disclaimer here. Additionally, the pass, you, you, you got to use the maximum value of the pass, right? But if you happen to need to use it for one of these limited edition cards, you can go ahead, I guess. I wouldn't. Uh, the cost of trading is super low right now where uh, it's going to save you. Uh, 94 is what? 11,800 to power up versus uh, 17,000 for 95. So you're looking at like 250k maximum there. But maybe that's your best value, and maybe that's what saves you the most coins, trading, whatever it may be. Let's take a look at these cards. Um, there's so many limited edition cards in this range. Uh, obviously, Bobby Wagner, Vaughn Miller are the, were the big ones, um, and so many others. But you've got cards, you know, Aaron Rodgers right here. He was a limited edition, right? Clowny. <sighs> We're all going to want the next clowny. But again, the, the training option isn't <laughs> isn't so bad. So we have these sorted here by cost. And I think that's definitely the best way to look at it. Uh, as you look, and there, there's a lot of cards in this this path right here. Khalil Mack, bam. Uh, very good card. These limited edition Hall of Fame cards, you could use it on there as well. But again, anything limited edition, you can use training on. So... It doesn't always make the most sense, in my opinion, to do that. But, again, if you really wanted to, you could. Pat Pete, great card. Luke Keekley, a pretty good card. I know he seems a little slow nowadays, but still pretty good. That Amari Cooper, that Baker Mayfield that's going to become, um, whenever he gets a power up path, will be very nice. But what we want to focus here is on two things. One... A card that can make you the most coins or a card that can save you the most coins. Those are always the two most important things. Easily, no questions asked, by far, it's it's the best way. Uh, and I believe some of the most expensive cards right now, honestly, are some of these Team of the Year cards, right? If you happen to not have them nat, they can be uh, very beneficial for you. Stefan Gilmore, Alex Mack, uh, Kittle... Uh, Jamal Adams. Oh, Jamal Adams. Everyone loves that card. It's a great card. But Stefan Gilmore is actually the most expensive non-limited edition-ish card that you could use it for. So he, I mean, if you run into Patsy, maybe he makes a lot of sense for you if you happen to not have him nat. With the propensity that EA was putting out nat team of the year cards for people, a lot of, a lot of these cards are probably had, you know. Which brings us to the next, the most obvious Big choice for a card that pretty much everyone has is this Harvest Lawrence Taylor. He's expensive. Uh, his price is probably going to go down because of this, because I would expect a lot of people to use this on him. But still, nonetheless, if you can net yourself back 500k, 400k, it's a really good deal. It really, really, it, like it is. It is. Same thing with Dion. But you got to keep in mind, Dion can also be powered up with training. Just saying. Where we go next and what makes it a little harder is a lot of these ghost cards. Um, the Lane Johnsons, your Gronks, Julio Jones, and Antonio Brown, stuff like that. J.J. Watt. If you want those cards and you happen to not have them net, if they're not net, this is great. For me, personally, my, my whole damn team is net. <laughs> so, it hurts. But some of these cards are pretty expensive. Uh, Julio Jones and Dominican Sue, and then you've got some of these playoff cards with Zach Martin and stuff. Uh, but I wouldn't be leaning too far into that realm of trying to get these cards because they, they probably a lot of them have an, another step involved as well. And if you already have that step done, uh, it's you're actually going to cost yourself coins when you're powering stuff down. So keep that in mind because when you start powering down really high overall cards, you lose a lot of coins. 12,000, 25,000 coins, stuff like that. It, it's, it's not the greatest thing in the world. But once we start getting into the 200k range, um, it makes me think that I want to save my pass, personally. 
that's just me because a lot of these cards uh, are, are kind of cheap anyway and I would want to wait and see and use the maximum value for it because some of these cards you may not have already someone like Ray Lewis, Jerry Rice, Strahan, Shannon Sharp you can obviously throw that into those sets as well but it doesn't make a lot of sense it really doesn't a lot of these cards aren't the most expensive now one thing I would a lot of people aren't going to get this in time I truly think Derwin James is going to get a power up that's my take, I think he will um, at some point, which means you're going to need his, his his Halloween card, which is not going to be easy to get. Uh, you can use Power Pass for that. And then maybe this 94, because some of these ghost cards, they really just don't exist unless you have them that. They're hard to come by. They're super rare to pull. But when we're looking at like these prices here, th it doesn't make a lot of sense. right? So if we're thinking of 17,000 training... Right, and uh, let's say that the the rate is 14 coins per. You're looking at 238k. So everything below this list is not as good of a value as if you did it with a limited edition 95. Right, if you were do it with a limited edition 94, you're looking at 165k. So while there's a lot of choices for this, there's not like a definitive list, and I, there really, 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 really isn't. Every time I've used a power up pass, it's to save myself the most coins or make the most coins, right? It makes sense. Like for me, if I had it in my possession right now, I'm doing Lawrence Taylor. 100%. I'm going to cash out. I'm going to take my 500K and, and be happy with it and know it's going to stay there. But with all these new cards coming into the game, some of these cards that you're going to might want, you know, someone's going to get an upgrade. And some of these cards might go up in price. Right? It happens. And when that happens, you might want to have the pass on hand. So, I wouldn't be using this pass necessarily to fill in a spot to take another jump on someone like uh, Bobby Wagner, right? To do the pass and then to get the other card. Just because it's going to cost a lot to, to power the cards down. I know I say that, and you guys would say, see, you have a lot of coins. I know I have a lot of coins, but not everyone else has a lot of coins. So that's where my thought immediately goes, is to the best way to save coins. Uh, it, it's, it's the truth. Um, so you guys are just going to have to, by the time you get the pass, this video may be out of date, honestly. It may be completely out of date. Like, so far out of date. Because the market's going to change so, so, so much. And with the, how long it's taken and how the market has shifted drastically since the last series, I think the Power Up Pass has the least technical value uh, of any of the ones that have come out. Even though you can technically get the most coins back from it, it just feels like it's, it's missing some value. It really, really is. <sighs> so much so. But you could still make a couple hundred K on it. No problem. No problem whatsoever. So you just be patient with it. Um, wait to see how the market is. You know, go to my head. Search overall 94 to 95. It's going to help you make the best decision possible. You can go through here and see which cards you have. Uh, and just sort by, by the price really, really easily to find out where you can make the most profit on it. That's, that's, I, I'm all about profit. You know, people say, oh, I want to upgrade my team. Okay, well, you can upgrade your team, and that's great. Uh, you get a free card or a free step. But a lot of these cards are going to start to be lower-ish overall cards. With, I mean, we're introducing how many 97s and stuff into the game recently? I mean, a month ago. Not even, maybe not even a month ago. The playoff content came out. We had two 97s. We searched to today, just to today, before the, this is before the MVPs come out. We have 25, so we have 27, so we're going to have 47.97 overall cards. And a month ago, we had two. Two. 
So we've gotten 45 97s in this time span. You gotta imagine we're gonna start getting a lot more 98s as well because the 98 and the 98s are rare right now. So I would cash out and get coins, and then you can use those coins to get a better player, right? Say you power down that Lawrence Taylor, or you use it for Lawrence Taylor, uh, you get that 500k. You've still got LT, now you have 500,000 coins. That 500,000 coins right here buys you this Sean Taylor, this Calvin Johnson, real quick. Real quick, and you're getting a 98. Just makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, as we see, the prices are going to change on some cards. The desirability on older cards, 90 to 91 power up past 92, 93, are going to have a lot of value as well. If that's enough to do a video on for me, uh, I'll do a video. If not, I imagine Tex will probably do something. So I'll point you guys in his direction if his video comes out and I don't do one. Sounds good. Sounds great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace.